Yo, what's up? This is Mofo One, Ceiling Gangs International. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take someone else's style and bite it without biting it. Not just flip the move, but change it in such a way that nobody will call you out, especially the person you beat it off of. Before you pick the person to bite, there are a few factors you have to keep in mind. One, does he live near you? You don't want to be seen together at jams or sessions doing the same shit. Two, is he famous? You don't want to bite someone like Session or Hong Ten because people are going to know you biting them. To lower the chances of getting caught, you want to pick a person who's very unknown and who lives very far away from you. The person I'm going to be biting today is B-Boy Scumbag Squires. He's a brand new B-Boy from the Atlanta scene with some really dope footwork, freezes, and some other shit that I never even thought of. Now, you just download all his videos and you're ready for the next step. Yo, we're here in the studio with my boy Trey Main Dupree. What up, ladies? Now we're gonna show you how to take all that footage you just downloaded and make it as easy to buy as possible. A lot of people have trouble learning from raw footage because the big boy is usually moving too fast to follow along. To fix that, Trey's gonna apply a slow motion effect followed by a horizontal flip to mirror it. Play it back and you can see how much easier it is to bite off this versus a regular video. However, before you go out there and try to practice these moves you just stolen, there's one final step. See, in order for something to be bitten, there have to be two things. One, the biter. One, the originator. Now, if you take one of those things away, it's no longer biting. See? Traditional b-boys will have you thinking you have to eliminate the biter, but my way is about evolving b-boy to the next level and taking the concept of originality from here to here. So in addition to what we talked about, consider a few more things. Does he have a wife and kids? Is his routine predictable? If he were to go missing, would anybody look for him? If everything checks out, you have a good ass candidate. Hey yo, what's up? Oh shit. Oh but what man, what are you doing here in Atlanta? Nah man, just chilling, just chilling. Finishing up uh, some business. Oh shit, he's that home tip! Yo, home tip, what's up? You gonna be in the side of the camera? I have my bicep and my elbow cutting both his carotid arteries. Hold this for 30 seconds and you're good to go. So there you have it folks. Now just hide the body. Take down his YouTube account, and as far as anybody is concerned, he's no longer exist. Now, these are some of the things that I teach at my workshops. You should come by, check it out, buy my DVD, keep elevating the style, keep being original. More for one, I'm out. Peace. Hey guys, my name is Anthony Bowie, and you're watching Devil Up Comedy. We've been away for a while, and it has been without cause. Last month, I was busy competing in a collaboration in Atlanta, where I won the first place prize with a spoken word piece called Bruce is Back. It's a poetry piece about the history of Asian American males on American cinema, and there's a link to it in the info box below if you want to check it out. While I was away, we had our first video idea contest on Facebook, where we received many, many great ideas, as well as some not so great ideas. Overall, we want to thank everyone who participated, and the winner was Tafari Casas from Berkeley, California. Tafari's idea was, what if a b-boy battle were more like WWF, with ridiculous costumes, unbelievable backstories, and personas and commentary like JR does on Raw. Tafari won a free Develop Comedy t-shirt, which you can own for yourself as well if you check out our website below, we're selling it in our online store. Last but not least, shout outs to those two guys who battled as Scumbag Squires at Breaking the Cycle 9. I have no idea who you guys are, but I hope you won the whole jam, and thank you so much for the free advertising. That's all I got for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.